Hi folks, I'm going to do um, the most easiest in the world ever pike fly. Um, this is pretty much what I started off with all those years ago. Um, and all we had back then was pretty much marabou, sea hooks like this O'Shaughnessy, and that was pretty much it for pike materials. Um, EP we hadn't heard of. There was only probably about half a good dozen guys, if that, time pike flies in the UK. So... This fly I'm going to do, I had boxes of these things and they caught me loads and loads of fish. In fact, my biggest pike on the fly so far is um, a 25 pound fish. And it's a river fish from the River Trent. And this is a very fly that I um, caught it on. So we're going to revisit the old days, um, how we used to do things before all these lovely synthetics came along. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off with just a, this is a 4 O'Shaughnessy Sea Hook. Um, other materials you're going to need is um, a pack of white marabou, a pack of red marabou, some crystal hair, a couple of rattly google eyes, and that's it. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to lay down a bit of thread. Nothing too complicated. All the way down to there and bring it back up. Right to the edge. There we go. Okay. Now what I'm going to do with that is just add some uh, varnish on that again to to seal it and protect it. Dropped a bit of varnish there, I'm always doing that. Okay, just cover that. And this is exactly the same tying that I used to do way back. Okay, so we grab uh, a marabou feather. This is going to be the tail piece. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut that off about there. You're left with that, but if you trout fish as well, then you could use that for other flies. Okay, so now we're going to do is just tie that in, just on top. A few wraps around. The varnish that you've put on will actually soak up through that, so you don't really need to put any more on just now. Okay, okay next thing. Grab some crystal here. You can use flash blue if you like, or whatever you want. A few strands there, so we're going to separate that, and we're going to put one lot on the back there, and the other lot. There's about half a dozen strands in that. There, bring that over, tie it all down. And that's your tail taken care of. Okay, the next thing, grab a nice long feather. You might want to just add a tad more varnish on the top of that. So your marabou sticks to it. Okay, lay that on. Bring that up to the tail section and move your thread out the way. Oops. And just palmer that round. And this is a very easy to fly to tie. If you're just getting into pike fly tying or even salt water, then this is really the probably the best fly you could actually make. In the water it gives it lots of movement, puffing away and actually has a great form of a bait fish as well. Okay, so that's one on. Like that. Now what I'm going to do is put some more crystal flash in. I really don't know why I, I don't use more of these. <laughs> They're such a good fly. Okay, now some more crystal flash. So put about half of that to there and 
the other half in there. And just fold that over. Tie it down. Just a little bit more flush. Take another marabou. Lay that right along the shank of the hook. Some people cut that off, but I don't even bother. Okay, bring that right down. Back up, out of the way. And same again. Just palm it round. I'm looking at that, I can see the varnishes soaking through that. So I don't need to add any more on that just now. Okay. Of course you can do whatever colours you like. This is um, just because this was my favourite fly back then, it used to catch me loads, so that's why I'm doing it. Okay. And we'll take again, a little bit more crystal flash. Half it. Same process, just put it on the side there. So, nothing overly hard or technical about this fly whatsoever. Okay, just got a few extra strands of crystal flush just lying there, so I'll just bung them on top of it. There we go. Hold everything back. I can see by looking at that the varnish isn't soaking through that, so I'm just going to put a little bit on there just to secure it and seal it. Okay. Now, if you want the red one, now with the red feather you want a nice long. That's perfect. Nice long feather. See these long bits? Beautiful. Just what you need. Okay. We'll tie that in. Bring that right back to where you tied your crystal flash in. Okay. And palmer that in. Classic colours. Red and white. Can't go wrong. I think what I'm going to do, I'm just going to tie another one in there. I'm just going to shorten this a bit, I don't want the whole feather, so grab that there. Tie that in. Already starting to build up a nice head. For some reason, my vice keeps seems to be slipping. It's probably because it's got a big hook in there. Oh, Sean, these are are not a thin wire hook; they're quite a thick hook. But you can still get away with it in a normal vice with a 4.0 right the way up to probably a 6.0 on a O'Shaughnessy. Might get a wee bit of slippage. Okay, we'll wrap that around. that head off. Okay. Right, somebody seems to have stolen my light up, so let's find another one. Okay, found it. I'm gonna touch that there just to Get rid of those excess feathers. 
and that's that. Okay, now we're going to go with the glue the eyes on. So, use improved crop glue, great stuff. And I'm going to put it down onto the onto the eye. Don't need a huge amount of this stuff. Okay, and then just place that googly eye on there. And on the other side. And just press those in just to get the glue into the feather. Okay. Okay, touch of varnish on there to finish off. And there you have it, probably. One of the greatest catching little flies ever. That will catch a fish. Enjoy.